Yo, what is up guys? Today we're talking about Destiny 2. Now specifically, we're going to be looking at the weapons that are coming back from previous seasons. So, I have done a, f a video about, I think, a few of these. I didn't do a video about the Season of the Undying. Not only that, but I'm guessing we have new people or just people in general that haven't seen any of those videos. So, we're going to be starting off with the season seasonal weapons from the past. Mostly because I don't have any of the new weapons. All of them. I don't have the pulse rifle and I do want to use it before I have an opinion on that. So let's start off with the hand cannon for Season of the Undying Optative, which is a 180. So immediately for me, I kind of lost interest, but I think the perks are fine. So for the first story, you're gonna want you're gonna have rapid hit, outlaw, force times the charm, grave robber, under pressure, and underdog. And for the last row, it's going to be Kill Clip, Demolitionist, Opening Shot, Zen Moment, Shield Disorient, and Mulligan. So the only reason I kind of recommend you get this is if A, you like 180s for some reason, and B, you might never know, they might buff them in the future. What, hopefully one day Bungie just decides like, you know what, the, the hand cannon nerfs were ridiculous, and they start giving each of the archetypes their own special bonuses and whatnot because as, as of right now if it's not a 150 it's kind of pointless so for pvp i would probably end up going with rapid hit and opening shot F maybe outlaw with opening shot obviously probably the one that most people would like is rapid hit and kill clip or outlaw and kill clip obviously for me, I ended up use, getting one with, uh, what was it, Force Times the Charm and Demolitionist, only because I just, I didn't care at the time. I think I still have it, I'm not sure, mostly because I'm not doing the gameplay right now, but if the whatever role I have on, on the screen right now is the role I have. And this one I'm going to go off by memory because I don't like 180s and I'm, I haven't used it yet, but... It felt fine. I had, like I said, I had one with Demolitionist and it was Void and a Hand Cannon. So for me, it was more of a, oh, I might as well have this. So it feels like a 180. I've used this weapon before. It's, it's fine. If you like 180s, it's not a bad gun. It's just that me personally, I don't like 180s and that's pretty much it. So the next one is going to be the LMG from Season of the Undying. This one I'm actually really excited that's coming back because I only got like one roll on it if I remember correctly, which was like firmly planted with rangefinder, which is not a bad roll. It's just mm, I would have much preferred like quick draw and rampage. Uh, firmly planted is good as well, but just firmly firmly planted with rampage or nah, not surrounded. Just rampage for the last uh, one would have been nice for me. But let's actually talk about the perks. So first roll is gonna be quick draw. Firmly planted, auto wing holster, ambitious assassin, pulse monitor, and genesis for the first storm. For the second row, it's going to be range finder, rampage, surrounded, eye of the storm, high impact reserves, and hip fire grip. So, like I said, something like quick jaw rampage, firmly planted in rampage, auto loading holster in rampage, even uh, just that would have been cool. Firmly planted, also great as well, but. I'm probably gonna farm for this one because like I said, I want I want to get I wanna get a better roll. And if this one is uh, stain more than Season of the Undying, it'll be great to have another LMG with that's uh, void because I don't think we will ever gonna have any, not for a while. So that's it for Temper Claws. This is a great LMG, I love it a lot. Uh if if it does not count as a season of the undying weapon and is and it counts as a season of the arrival weapon then i suggest you get all these weapons like full stop get all these weapons guys having variety having something to like fall back on is amazing so don't don't just oh whatever the next weapon is going to be breach light oh my god okay so if you guys have not seen my season of dawn weapon reviews it's fine you don't have to go watch it but dudes it's mm, breach light is probably the best weapon here aside from the shotgun from the seventh seraph let me tell you why first row demolitionist outlaw hip fire grip underdog 
under pressure threat detector for the first row for the second row it's gonna be vorpal weapon quick draw multi-kill clip rampage osmosis and elemental capacitor so immediately you could do demolitionist with osmosis for pve for pvp you can do outlaw with rampage multi-kill clip quick draw vorpal weapon for pvp and pve you could do outlaw with any of the ones i just said shit you, if you really want to go that hard you can do hit fire grip with quick draw the only re only reason i'm saying hit fire is because hit fire got a really big boost this season so you could even do that this one's one of my favorite favorite weapons in the game i don't use it enough mostly because i have stuff in my kinetic that i use just i love so this one is one of those sidearms that just i love just this the, the perks are beautiful man so i highly recommend you get this one highly recommend it it's a great weapon in pvp and in pve it's it, it slaps just just slaps so the next one is going to be marty's retribution now i think i got the god roll for this one in my personal opinion i think i got the god roll for this one which is auto loading holster with demolitionist so let's look at the perks real quick before i start gushing so auto loading holster field prep threat detector genesis and underdog for the last row it's going to be range finder demolitionist lead from gold elemental capacitor and moving target so the reason i think i got the i got the god roll is because i ended up getting one with auto loading holster and demolitionist and for me that's probably the best role you can get i mean you could get lead from gold but honestly this gun this gun to me in my opinion feels more like a pvp weapon more than a pve weapon i mean sure it it does do uh good shit in pve but me personally it's more of a pvp weapon and if you guys don't know this shoots really weird it is from a new uh weapon frame which is wave frame one shot handheld grenade launcher projectiles release a wave of energy when they contact the ground essentially think about the grenade that titans have that the solar one where you throw it on the floor and the grenade just kind of goes forward it's the same thing it's cool as hell and i love i love that they made something unique from this from this grenade launcher which is probably why i love it as much as i do so yeah I would I would suggest you pick this up only because of how unique it is and if you might never know you might actually love how it shoots you might use it in PvP or in PvE and this is th these videos are always just kind of suggestions like hey you 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 could like this and just take it as that if you guys find this informative thank you but the last two weapons are from Season of the Worthy and this one is actually my favorite weapon from probably all the seasons which is the seventh seraph shotgun so the first row it's going to be slide shot lead from gold auto loading holster and quick draw for the second row it's going to be vorpal weapon trench barrel snapshot sights and shield disorient now one of the main reasons why this shotgun is one of my favorite shotguns is not only does it feel great to shoot but the perks on it is actually so awesome so let's say you want to do pvp right you could do slide shot with Vorpal. You could do quick draw with Vorpal or snapshot sights. I would recommend either slide shot or quick draw with Vorpal weapon, only because snapshot sights is, is nice, but with the Vorpal, you get the increased damage against Guardians against their super. And yeah i think that's the only recommendation i would say about that because verbal weapon helps you when people have their supers snapshot sights is fine unless you like this the quick draw and snapshot sights combo then you do you man but for pvp that would that's what i would do for pve this is where it gets really really fucking awesome because you could do either vorpal weapon or trench barrel with lead from gold hands down lead from gold guys don't even look at auto loading holster do lead from gold lead from gold is probably the best thing here i have an actual build that i have revolving around lead from gold and it's amazing i essentially never have to reload one weapon which is uh my kinetic because it has overflow and 
I'll explain that build if you guys want to know. But though my god roll, the one I did not get was assault mag, lead from gold, and trench barrel. I do have that with vorpal weapon, but not with trench barrel, and that's the one I want because one day I hope they're gonna like fix trench barrel and just forever. So yeah, this this shotgun I cannot recommend enough. It's amazing and I love it to death. So on to the last one, which is gonna be the seventh Sarah VY7, which is probably the worst weapon, in my opinion, that they brought back. So we're gonna talk about the perks first and then you guys will realize why I say this. So firmly planted, Ambitious Assassin, fourth time's a charm, and Pulse Monitor for the first row. For the second row, it's going to be Feeding Frenzy, Vorpal Weapon, Dragonfly, and Elemental Capacitor. So, the main reason I don't like this weapon is because it is a precision frame for an SMG. And for an SMG, that just means that your ammo is usually pretty shitty. Like, base stats of 27 in the rounds, which is fucking horrible. So, automatically, you're going to want like a pended mag tactical mag extended mag anything that increases your magazine you're gonna want and even then it's probably just gonna go up to like 20 no 32 34 maybe and even if you it's it's just it's just annoying because it's either firmly planted maybe ambitious assassin and then the last row it's like you could do warple you could do feeding frenzy or that's it like that's really it for me i would not do elemental capacitor i would not do dragonfly so it's either vorpal weapon or feeding frenzy and feeding frenzy got hit hard so i don't i don't like feeding frenzy on the smgs anymore which is sad considering that perk used to be really good for smgs but let, let me reiterate feeding frenzy on an smg is good if it's not a precision frame because if I have like 40 rounds in the chamber with an SMG, it could do good. It could do well. So this is the last weapon I wanted to talk about because I just, I have no interest in this weapon. If you, like I said, if you want to try it out, by all means, fuck it, try it, man. You might like it. Just me, I don't like precision frames. Uh, the lack of ammo is just what really kills me. But that's pretty much it. If you guys want to ask my personal opinion about which weapon you want to get or need to get, I would say maybe Optative, Temporal Claws, Breach Light, and the Seren Seraph Shotgun. You could get Marty's and the SMG. But me personally, that's the ones I would go for first if you're trying to farm like an exact god roll. If you're trying to get like a god roll like to be competitive or something, then I would say probably the Shotgun. And maybe Breach Light would be the ones you, you would go for first. But the shotgun, hands down, it's going to be really good. And I would highly suggest you go for this because it's it's amazing. It's one of my favorite shotguns, hands down. Not even kidding. So yeah, let me know what you guys think about the weapons themselves. Did you guys like the weapons this season? I'm going to be doing the new weapons soon once I hit whatever level I have to be in the season pass to get the, the pulse rifle. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. If you guys want to follow me on my social media, outlets, links are in the description below. Thank you everyone for the constant support. I really do appreciate it. And other than that, I'll see you guys later.